latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm 41 Action News anchor Lindsay Shively. Election Day just one week away, and if you live in Kansas, today is the last day you can request a mail-in ballot. In Kansas, mail-in ballots can be returned in person or through the mail. If you mail it back, you have to have it postmarked by Election Day and received by the Election Office before 5 p.m. on the Friday after Election Day. In Missouri, mail-in ballots have to be sent back through the Postal Service. They cannot be dropped off at the Election Office. They have to arrive at the Election Office by 7 p.m. on Election Day. Absentee ballots, however, those can be dropped off in person. To find the form to apply for a mail-in ballot, you can find your polling place. You can even see a sample ballot. Go to KSHB.com and click on the Vote 2020 tab at the top of the home page. Cities are doing what they can to prepare for slick, icy roads this morning. In Olathe, night shift crews expected to take over last night and continue to treat streets for the morning commute. In Independence, crews were monitoring bridges, overpasses, and intersections overnight. And a crew came in at 4 a.m. in Lenexa just to treat any slick spots that might have refroze overnight. Thanks, Lindsay. Now to 10 a.m. We're going to warm to add or just above freezing. Mostly cloudy, dry roads, dry to damp, and a few of those lingering slick spots. Then from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at or above freezing, 32 to 36. Chance of some rain, a little freezing rain and sleet, mostly south of I-70 and mostly south of Kansas City. Wet with possibly a few slick spots. However, by that time of day, air and pavement temperatures will be mostly above freezing. And it's out of here by the evening rush hour, 4 to 10 p.m., 34 to 36. Mostly cloudy. The roads would be dry to damp. And then overnight tonight, the temperature holds steady pretty much around 35. Chance of rain Wednesday night into Thursday, mainly south of I-70 with temperatures in the 40s, no freezing. And then finally back to average for Halloween, 63 degrees.